Okay, welcome back, Spain, to your Caribou Data Science channel. Today is, uh, well, it's Monday, June the 21st, 2021. And, of course, that means it's the time we start our, our, our weekly cycle of COVID-19 analysis reports for your country of Spain. Before we get started, I do have one favor to ask. That's that you click on that share button. Share this video on your, on your Facebook and Twitter accounts today. All right. All you got to do is click on the share button, share this video on uh, Facebook and Twitter. You can also copy and paste the link into an email or a text message. I really would appreciate a few likes today, all right? Also, we remind you at this point that, uh, as I always do, Spain does not record COVID-19 data on Saturday and Sunday. But instead, that's Saturday and Sunday numbers on the, on the Monday's numbers, okay? So let's take a look here and see exactly what's going on. Okay, so what you can see here, currently Spain has 3.8 million cases, uh, 81,000 deaths more or less. Our total rate is falling. This, this, this isn't necessary, but by itself, this doesn't mean anything. This simply means that the, that the, that the, that the ratio of cases to death is increasing, okay? It doesn't have anything to do with whether or not what cases to death are themselves increasing. It just means the difference between the two is increasing. But here, here you can see exactly the point. You know, look at this. Look at this nice long declining pattern in uh, COVID-19 cases in Spain. For June 18th, you had 4,214 cases, all the way down from over 93,000 up here. Okay. And for this, and for the seven-day, uh, for the period, for the seven-day period ending June 14th, you were averaging 6,028 cases. Okay. What about deaths? The overall trend in deaths has been down despite this little spike right here. You can see, uh, uh, you can see on uh, June 18th, you had 18 deaths. And for the seven day period ending June 15th, you, had, you were averaging 45 deaths per day, okay? Take a look at the, at the weekly cases now. You can see this huge decline from back up in here. And pretty much to continue, even though we had this spike at four, five, or six week spike here, and since that time it has resumed declining again. So if this is 50,000 cases, then this line here is 25,000 cases. So, so you're still around 25 to 50,000 cases per week at this point. Okay, what about deaths? Well, this is 2,000, right? This is 1,000, and this is about 500. So you can see you have been seeing a nice declining pattern in weekly deaths also, which is good news. What about uh, monthly cases? Well, you can see there's a pretty good shot that this is going to wind up being the lowest number of cases since all the way back over here in August. Okay. What about deaths? Well, look at these deaths. This could be the lowest number of deaths in since June, July, since August also. You could have the lowest number of deaths since August, okay? Look at these two numbers over here, okay? All right. So, Spain, that does conclude the report for today. Before I let you go, that one small favor, click on that share button. Share this video on your Facebook and your Twitter accounts today. Also, you can, you can copy and paste that link into an email, email or a text message and share it with your friends and family that way. Thanks so much for your time, Israel. Or Israel. Thanks for your time, Spain. We'll catch you tomorrow with an updated report.